I don't know what to do, I forgot how to date. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit unusual for me to film because I'm going on a date and what is more importantly is that I'm going on a date with my husband. So it will be our second proper date since our son was born. Basically proper date in six years, can you imagine? Crazy. So this year both of our kids are at school. Oh, Rosie is at the nursery. Um, so we decided to have some time for ourselves and I think it's a great idea. So our first date was a movie date. We went to see No Time to Die and I didn't film anything simply because I just wasn't in the mood. Uh, the movie was too long with 40 minutes of advertisements and trailers with the most boring villain and our seats were taken by somebody else. Apparently, same seats were sold twice. So to cut story short, I didn't like the movie. But that's not the point. The main idea is to spend some romantic quality time together. So today we're meeting at the Ivy and I have to say for all of those who ask me about traveling and finding places to eat, if you travel in the UK, just look for the Ivy. There are lots of them in London, there is one in Brighton, one in Bath, one in Chatham, one in York, one in Edinburgh. And the food is always good. By the way, I'm passing by the Ivy Chelsea and look at this enchanted forest installation. Just look at all those details, such lovely mushrooms. I believe it was part of Chelsea in bloom, but as you can see, the flowers are not real. Love this pumpkin installation as well. So adorable. Just look at all those cakes. <laughs> I'm in sugar coma already. So guys, this is Victoria Street in London. And if you've seen my video from Edinburgh, you remember that Victoria Street in Edinburgh looks completely different. <laughs> Hi there! I don't know what to do, I forgot how to date. <laughs> Me too. So the Ivy Victoria is celebrating autumn with their Harvest Moon campaign, working with Johnny Walker Whiskey and they invited us to join the celebration. The Ivy restaurants are so pretty. Absolutely love the interior. So did you choose what you order? My pick is uh, ribeye on the bowl. Mm. I think I'm gonna go for roast salmon filet. So here's the list of limited edition cocktails they serve until the end of October, I believe. So our cocktails have arrived. Smashing pumpkin and harvest moon. One for her and one for him. Do you know that no one ever orders ribeye steak for brunch? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's almost 12 o'clock, so it, it's lunch. That's, that's okay. Cheers! I can't leave the restaurant without showing you the bathrooms or washrooms, whatever you call them. I mean, how beautiful is this?
pink toilet and pink sink I think it's made of stone absolutely gorgeous back to work today I am in welcome collection museum because I'm taking pictures for a little collaboration on Instagram and I have to say after my recent failure with stay tickets I am extra grateful for places like this one where exhibitions are free and you don't have to wait in a queue for two days to buy yourself a ticket so they're currently running on happiness a season of free events activities and two exhibitions joy and tranquility if you want you can visit it too and by the way this is what i'm wearing today my pictures are approved and ready to be posted and I don't know why but I'm feeling packaged every time I'm visiting a museum and I see this place that my friends recommended a meal so it's meal bakery I'm not sure how to pronounce it right but I guess it's a sign to try the food okay so I see cinnamon buns okay so I'm taking the cannelli I've never tried before Okay, so I'm done. And as I'm in Fitzrovia today, I want to show you not this one, this is Beatty Tower. I want to show you famous Warren Muse. And you might have seen it a million times before on Instagram, but I have to show it to you too. And if you've ever wondered how it looks like from inside. They have a pretty good view of Beatty Tower from here. And this is the behind of the famous black facade. So I'm on Fitzroy Square and I have to say that this street reminds me of the location of Sherlock Holmes flat. Uh, although the real location is nearby and I show it to you in the video already I leave it for you in the description box below Okay guys, so I'm back to West London but before I finish this vlog I want to show you the proof that Awesome came to London finally I'm so excited to finally see leaves turn red and I think this is the prettiest muse in London during autumn time See, I'm not the only one who's taking picture of this muse. There are so many people there. But let me show you the other sides of the Kinnan's muse. So in spring, you must come here because this is the 
biggest wisteria I've ever seen. And sadly, I've never seen it in full bloom. Um, I mean, only on Instagram, <laughs> on somebody else's pictures. So make sure to visit Kenan's Muse in spring and in autumn, in October.